Good late Saturday evening. I am certified meteorologist Nick Kelly checking in on this January 12th of 2019. We definitely had that storm system arrive as advertised to yesterday and lasting through a good portion of today. It's finally out of our neck of the woods and it's pretty much done for much of the region. That is to say, it didn't leave without leaving a bit of a mess behind. Let's go right to the snow mouse. This is what we've seen so far with still a little bit of minor accumulating snow to go around the St. Louis area for tonight. But from Friday's event all the way through today, in general, we had a good corridor of six inches to a foot, ranging from about Topeka, Emporia, Kansas City, stretching all the way along Interstate 70 toward the St. Louis area. But the bigger bullseye, there were actually good bouts of heavier snow that resulted in amounts going over a foot between Columbia and Jefferson City. And that was pretty much a big headache for uh, folks around the Fulton Kingdom City, uh, Montgomery City, uh, let's say Warrington, and also around the Forest Cell in Wentzville before you have I-70 split off and you can head southeast into St. Louis County along Interstate 64. For us, it wasn't a big deal around here, but some of us did see some accumulating snow. Case in point, the better accumulations were by far from about for the sake of argument, let's say Nevada Chinook points north. North of there, this is where we have that good stripe of three to six inches, but for Nevada proper, all the way to about Fort Scott, Uniontown, Chinook, and a good portion of southeast Kansas, generally about one to three inches. Then as you work closer to Pittsburgh and Joplin, that's when the snow mouse really trailed off because the colder air couldn't quite make it to the Interstate 44 corridor. So if you didn't see snow this go around, let's be thankful in this case that you didn't have to deal with this. I still can't get over this view from a MoDoc camera along Interstate 44. I've been keeping an eye on the St. Louis area the other day. I definitely have friends and family back home, needless to say. I still can't get over this camera shot around 7 o'clock Friday night. This is at Antire Road right along I-44 looking westbound. There is only westbound traffic from that vantage point with nobody going east. Why? Because between 109 and 141 going east on 44, you have to climb a pretty steep hill on a normal day to keep going and to get to 141. But as soon as that heavy, wet snow started falling between noon and 2 p.m., you had traffic going okay. Then by about 3 o'clock, it was maybe a car a minute going up the hill. Then, as it really the snow just really piled on, you couldn't get any car going east of 109. The same goes... Uh, between Six Flags and Pacific West on 44 because you have a few hills there to take you into Franklin County. So 44 in Eureka in general was just a mess, not to mention most of the interstates around St. Louis and a good portion of the roads were just a mess with all that heavy, wet snow coming down at a pretty good clip. For us, though, we had a little bit of rain and snow this morning. That has tapered off for the most part. Still can't rule out a few random snow flurries and maybe a few bouts of drizzle or freezing drizzle around. In general, though, if you didn't see the snow, this is how we look throughout the course of the day and much of yesterday. Rain again across uh, the casino grounds at uh, Indigo Sky, just outside of Seneca. What we're keeping an eye on for the next few days or going into next week. Drizzle and flurries, just random bouts of light drizzle, freezing drizzle and snow flurries. Doesn't look like a big deal. It'll be pretty much out of here by the time we hit sunrise going into Sunday. Thankfully, we temperatures will stay cool, but we moderate back toward a positive direction Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And by the end of next week, sticking with Doug's pattern, we will have another system to keep a close eye on. Roads are wet from 7th and Range Line with temperatures already at the freezing point and dropping down to about 30 tonight. Any wet roads could refreeze, so keep just a very close eye on the roads and just be careful if you're going to be out in the bat late tonight. 38 for actually a late Saturday morning high and that low of 32. That is actually where we sat last at 9.51 on this Saturday night. It feels like 24, though, at Joplin Regional, thanks to a north breeze at about 10 miles per hour. Everybody had to make do with middle to upper 30s for highs today. Again, that was during the late morning hours on your Saturday. Beyond that, we had temperatures slowly drop with that north breeze really kicking in. And we are still solidly in the lower 30s. Most of us right around the, right around rather the freezing mark. But you factor in that breeze at about 10 miles per hour. It takes about 5 to 10 degrees off of the thermometer. That's what it feels like against your skin, between 20 and 25 degrees. Thankfully, with the cloud cover in place, we don't drop off too much more tonight with lows right around 30. But we just don't go anywhere tomorrow. 
By lunchtime, we'll be around 32 or 33 degrees, but at the very least, we'll be dry, and we don't have to deal with the brunt of the system anymore. Again, it's still leaving a little bit of accumulating snow around the St. Louis area. The brunt of the moisture, though, really shifting along the eastern parts of the U.S., working over the Great Lakes and around our nation's capital, too. Off to our west, nothing. That's how we're going to stay as we go through not only tomorrow, but also Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Then we'll watch for another system out in the Pacific to head in, maybe a few systems as well. That could give some rain and snow chances also to keep an eye on as we go throughout the late week ahead. For the overnight, other than a few spots of maybe a few flurries, a little bit of light freezing drizzle, everybody's cloudy, everybody's cold tonight with that north breeze at 10. Temperatures drop to about 30 in the morning. Again, it's just going to be a flat-out struggle to warm up tomorrow. Even though we lighten up that breeze throughout the day, it'll still be out of the north, keeping the cold air in place. I think we can only go to 33 by lunchtime, and Joplin, I expect you to top out around 35. If you can get a few peaks of the sun late tomorrow, you may see highs around 36, 37. Better shots of that, closer to Tulsa and Wichita. It's just going to be a cold day tomorrow, but again, we're dry, which is definitely a good thing. Another cold start for your Monday morning, but then we're back into the 40s on Monday with highs of 42, near 50 for Tuesday and Wednesday. Then we see rain chances picking up Thursday, and quite an interesting system to watch by the coming weekend. Again, that's a few systems out of the Pacific we'll have to watch by that point. It could start as some, what looks now like maybe light rain chances Thursday morning and Thursday afternoon looks okay. Going into Friday, though, ahead of that main wave that we want to work in, we may start Friday off in the quiet note, but going into the afternoon and evening, that's when we'll see a rain-snow mix looking to develop. And then it could end as snow before we really go back into the chill as we head toward next Saturday. Again, this is very early on. This is an early look at next weekend. A lot can change between now and then, but it is fitting with Doug's pattern, so we're definitely going to keep a close eye as we go into uh, late next week. And speaking of late next week, we'll have temperatures going from 52 for a high on Thursday to 30 and dropping throughout the day on Saturday. Have a good night. Have a great Sunday.